six seconds. McCollum to Turner, the jumper. No good. And a loose ball foul on Collins. And Collins and Rondo, a shoving match. Once again, the officials are in there to break it up. And Alvin Gentry trying to make sure his players don't exacerbate the problem. Collins and Rondo were angling towards one another. And assistant coaches and security have stepped in. Well, Pelicans are at the point where they're asking DeMarcus Cousins to calm down the situation. <laughs> yes, it's gotten That's to that point. That's how far we've gotten at this point. And Let's understand the context <laughs> of that. Surpri that's surprising to have Zach Collins step up like that. It was a bad decision by Collins to go in for the offensive rebound and foul. He had no chance at it, let the half end. But he hits Holiday, and then Rondo with the slap, and that's... You know, again, that's a Pelican player. We saw it with Moore instigating what's going to happen, and Collins took offense. And instantly, Kane Fitzgerald blew the whistle for technicals. And Rondo stuck the head into the chin. There's the height advantage with Collins. Rajon Rondo 6'1", Collins is 7'0".